You know what? Um, just because it's related, we do have mm -hmm. a video that's related to what you just said. Okay. Um, okay. Eric, can you pull up the, uh, it's the, uh, the Tate sex. Oh God. Meh. Oh no. Oh no. What? Andrew Tate. <sighs> oh. Ew. Uh, I know. Uh, Isn't he in jail? Honestly, that's perfect. Um, <laughs> just first. Let's just let it play, first ladies. Sexual abuse? Okay. Let's just let it play, okay. ladies. Go ahead. Oh, okay. so this position, that position. Don't you feel like you get to a point in your life where there's something more than that? Don't you feel like, and maybe I'm going to sound like a romantic. Don't you feel like you get to a position in your life where you'd rather have a girl who you truly love and she truly loves you? And it doesn't matter what she does because you know she really loves you and she's trying her best. Where are those hats? I know, I know she's shaking her head. I know she's shaking her head. But I'm serious. I'm serious. If you sleep with enough women, just like if you sleep with enough men, there's no fucking move. Is not a complicated operation, right? There's no move that's going to be like, wow, I've you never seen this before. Is, I've never seen this before. On my mind True. is blown. No, like if you th no, no. Mm -hmm. If you think the way you keep a man happy is to move your put in a particular way on top of his <laughs> as opposed to behave in a way which is respectful to him out in the real world and to, for him to know he has you and your loyalty regardless of what's going to come up, all the problems he's going to come into in his life then you're wrong. Mm -hmm. So the whole point of sex mm -hmm. is a connection between two people. And I think having a genuine connection between two people is worth more than the sex. So her question was, mm -hmm. what can a woman do to truly blow your mind in the bedroom? You'll blow my mind outside of the bedroom in a relationship okay. as a whole. That okay. That's the, the truth. Question, That's the truth. Wouldn't you rather have a girlfriend who truly loves you, is absolutely loyal to you? Like, no matter what happens, she's going to be there for you. You can catch a case six months. She's waiting, outside waiting <laughs> for you. She, she, okay, she can't take Right, whatever. But she tries her very, very best to pour, <laughs> the poor thing, yeah. and she wants the to satisfy. She wants to satisfy you, and you know, you sh you know, she cares about you. Yeah. Wouldn't you be like, well, I don't care that she can't take dick because that's actually a quality woman, and which is rare in the world today. But I am genuinely uninterested in sleeping with a woman who I don't have a connection with. I, if a girl said to me, I don't love you at all, I don't feel anything for you at all, I don't want to sleep with you, but I will. I would say no. I'm, this act in and of itself is, is is okay we've all if you had sex we've all had sex right you right. really don't fuck somebody who doesn't give a sh about you at all mm -hmm. we live in a yeah. world now right where we have a lot of narratives which are being broken down and destroyed in real time and i think it's very very healthy for men and women to look at sex as an act that happens between people who at least like each other mm -hmm. the idea that i don't like them at all but as long as they can suck this way mm -hmm. then it's okay i don't give Right? I, if a girl genuinely loves me with all her heart and gives me a fucking terrible blowjob, I'm still gonna be like, well, you love me, I love you, it is what it is. It's more, life's more important than blowjobs and Sorry, fucking blowing your but load. What if it's this not is love? the truth. And if it's not love, this, if it's not love, know. let me tell you something. Women are the gatekeepers, not men. If it's not love, you shouldn't be fucking him anyway. This is the reality of the world. Just but because the modern world told you different, you shouldn't be fucking a man you don't love. Mm -hmm. That's the first fucking Okay, relax. You sleep with it. No, but it's true. No, you're right. You're right. Cause they, it, 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 no, 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 no. Cause I'm the intimacy, in me, whatever the fuck, however you say it, intimacy, in me, whatever is not there, you will feel it. Okay. Uh, do you want to give? By the way, that's uh, from the Fresh and Fit podcast. Shout out yes. to them. So that kind of okay. is somewhat in response. Do you want to? I'm respond? gonna. I'm gonna say something. I don't Wait, necessarily. Actually, one thing really quick. I 100 percent agree with Andrew Tate. If my girlfriend, if she loves me, but she doesn't, mm -hmm. she's not that good okay. at giving head. I love her. She loves me. She's trying her best. I 100% agree with what okay. he says. Go ahead. And here's the thing. I don't actually disagree with him. I don't actually disagree with him, but I think that where a problem, where the problematic stature of what he's saying is that that's the only way to think. Mm -hmm. That is where the problems start. I don't disagree with him. I think that's actually a really lovely sentiment if that's how you want to live your life. But let people live life the way they want to. It doesn't really have to mean that you're wrong. They're just choosing to live life a different way. And you know what? There are some people that, you know, will maybe have intercourse with other people that they don't like, and that's on them. They'll grow out of it, whatever. But you won't really know what you want and how you want it until you experiment. I would love to ask Andrew Tate, how many people has he connected with in that way? How many experiences has he had with women that he doesn't talk about that has led up to his point of thinking? And that's what it is, right? I don't disagree. I just think that there are other ways to function as a person. I would like to say also that um, I think in a lot of ways, there are many times that Andrew Tate does a disservice to men. 
I think in him saying that, that women are the gatekeepers, I mean, it, if you want to see it that way, I understand the reality of the world that like there are generally more Does men. Does anyone hear that noise? The squeaking. Is it from one of the chairs? I don't know. It might be. 